Hello friends, today we are going to do the practical of magnetic field along the axis of a circular coil carrying current. We have did this in uh, our earlier plus 2 class, uh, means maximum of our did this theoretically, but today we are going to do this in practical. So what is the aim? So our aim is to study the variation of magnetic field with distance along the axis of a circular coil carrying current, means we have a circular coil and uh, it is uh, a current is passed through it and we have to study the variation of the magnetic field on the axis of that coil so for this uh, we uh, here is one law um, for this uh, magnetic field so that law is called by severt law we have earlier studied this so what does this say that it uh, the current is directly proportional to the strength of current at the uh, magnetic field due to any Current carrying, uh, current carrying object or con uh, current carrying uh, any coil, the magnetic field is directly proportional to the current, directly proportional to the that length of that element. I mean to say the element, current carrying element, length of, directly proportional to element, current, and also directly proportional to the sign of angle between these means. Here it, we need to find the magnetic field and it is a current carrying element. So we are taking this theta means the theta between the current element and this distance. So it is uh, the angle between these. This is theta. So it is directly proportional to sign of angle theta and inversely proportional to the square of distance. So here are the distance. So this is our formula. Here k is the we know that proportionality constant. Its value is this mu naught is permeability of free space and we get this formula. So we need to find the magnetic field at on the axis of a coil, current carrying coil. So this is the current carrying coil and it is the axis of the mm, coil. So we need to find the variation of magnetic field at a various position of this axis means uh, here, here and here and here and here. So we are assuming only uh, a point. So um, applying uh, the void servet law here we get dp is equal to mu naught by 4 pi i dl x square plus r square. Here r is the radius of the coil, x is the distance from the center of the coil on the, uh, means on the axis, i is the current in the coil and dl is the length. So integrating this we get mu naught is equal to mu uh, bbx is equal to mu naught i by 2 r square x square plus 3 by 2 for n number of turns in coil we just multiply by it so in this experiment we are doing two things uh, so we also know that uh, earth has its own magnetic field so by using the earth magnetic field and uh, the magnetic field of the coil we get a resultant magnetic field this so let us assume that uh, the earth magnetic field in x direction, the coil magnetic field in y direction. So we get a magnetic resultant magnetic field due to this both and it is inclined at an angle theta to the earth's magnetic field. So uh, we get this relation x is equal to b naught and theta. So when we are doing our expert practical in simulator, we get also calculate this angle theta, this angle theta using a compass needle so that we can find out this b node at that point. So it is the graph um, between the distance and the Bx is the variation of a coil magnetic field. Bx is a very, uh, coil magnetic field on the axis and it is the graph and it is the distance means here it is the center it is from it is uh, the distance toward the left side of the coil and it is the distance toward the right side of the coil so we are just plotting the graph and we also know that the standard value of B node we take is 3.5 10 to the power minus 5 tesla. So now let's move to the simulator. Uh, so uh, I just before moving to the simulator, I want to show some the circuit diagram that this is a circuit diagram. This is uh, our coil. It is uh, the scale and here it compass needle. It is the circuit is a four way key, uh, a resistance, rheostat key, battery, ammeter. All these we need in our circuit. So uh, the procedure I will tell you in the uh, simulator and uh, the remaining thing that it is the table. So uh, there are Two reading left side reading and right side reading right side means uh, the axis toward the right side of the coil and the axis toward the left side of the coil these are left side and right side direct and reverse means one uh, direct current and then reverse current means reversing the direction of the current theta 1 and theta 2 we are uh, taking two angles uh, from the compass needle so from this we will calculate our 
magnetic field on the axis of the cone. So now let's move to the simulator. Now we have come to our simulator. As you now see that this is an ammeter, this is a battery, this is a one way key, this is a rheostat variable resistance, this is our uh, current carrying loop uh, circular uh, circular current carrying loop setup, this is our compass, magnetic needle compass, this is our four way key. So as you can see that it is not working yet. Why it is not working? Because before this we have to do one initial adjustment of which we have to do the initial adjustment of this magnetic compass how earlier i said that we will set up our uh, the axis of this uh, compass in such a way that it should be uh, perpendicular to the earth's horizontal magnetic field so we have to mark it with zero zero positioning it is called zero zero positioning so first we will do the initial adjustment we have to rotate in this we have to rotate the magnetic needle until the rotate the apparatus become active so we will go to uh, like uh, approx it is 48 so yeah now we will make it zero zero positioning zero zero positioning means it is zero zero positioning means now the magnetic um, field of earth's horizontal magnetic field is now perpendicular to the axis of the coil now we have to go back normal and then we have to make our connections here it is Now we have to insert key. Now after inserting key, we can measure that here uh, the current is one ampere. This current will remain constant. So we have used this battery to make our current constant all the time during our experiment. Now what we have to do? Now the position is zero zero means it is in the center. So we will first find the um, magnetic field at the center of the key. We need to zoom this compass. Now as this compass is zoomed, we have seen that now earlier it was on zero zero. Now it is on 75 and here it is also 75 so means at the center the theta between the resultant magnetic field and the earth horizontal magnetic field is 75 we have to note this this is our theta 1 this is our theta 2 it as it is on center so left and right hand side will be the same now what we have to do we have to reverse our current and then also see it again we are getting here 74 and here 75 so this is our theta 1 and theta 2 when reversed now we have to we have to move our compass to at 5 cm means you can move anywhere but we are taking generally 5 anywhere in the so we now we are at right hand side I will show you how we are right hand side like see earlier at 0 0 position we were here now we are moving toward right hand side so right hand side we are here and by minus position we are to left hand side so moving to right hand side again 5 zoom compass here we will note this theta 1 and theta 2 again like it is uh, 51 and here also it is 51 now also reversing the condition we will get another 51 and 51 it is our right hand side now we will take left hand side we will take left hand side me uh, measurement now again you have to measure this and you have to uh, again reverse the current and then measure again so you will see that the you have to take up to two or three positions means uh, three position at left hand side or three three, three or four you may uh, you can have any um, number of positions but um, so you have to take both left hand side positions because you have to draw the diagram uh, of uh, vx with respect to that now uh, as we have calculated this so now you have to put this in formula uh, so uh, with the help of this position you can calculate the magnetic field and with the help of theta you can calculate the horizontal magnetic field and from where you can uh, complete your active that was all so thanks for watching